Welcome to the Yorkshire Air Museum on a rather grey and drizzly day. The building that you can see behind me is our control tower. It was built in 1942 and its job was to count out and count back in again the Halifax bombers that took off from here to go on bombing raids over occupied Europe and Germany and often fewer bombers would return than set out. Such was the attrition rate for RAF Bomber Command. Now the tower is constructed from a blueprint, so you can see similar buildings to this at air bases or the remains of air bases up and down the country. But very, very few of them are as intact and original as this one. It really is a monument to the air crews of RAF Bomber Command. But time and the elements have taken their toll and our precious control tower now needs some tender loving care. In the three years that RAF Elvington was operational during the war, there were 4,000 sorties, missions, out over occupied Europe and Germany, where wave after wave of Halifax bombers would have taken off. And the RAF support crew would have stood and looked through these windows and watched that happen. Night after night after night, air crews took off and almost half of them did not return. The repair of the windows is at the very heart of this restoration project. This is just one section of one window in the building, upstairs in the control room. And you can see how bad the damage is. It's, it's heartbreaking really, but 80 years have taken their toll on this whole building. And the metal work, it's a, it's a metal frame, is just rusted and rotted away uh, and it's crumbling. So the idea is that it's a mixture of repair, replace and restore. And around 60% of the material will be original window metal, but the rest of it will be new. The rendering, which is the material that covers the outside of the building, is failing and cracking. And this ranges from very small hairline cracks to much, much larger ones that you can see here. Now, not only does this look unattractive, but it lets in rain and wind and causes ultimately damage to the building. So the plan is that all of the rendering will be stripped away, the brickwork checked, and then new rendering will be applied and painted. And not only will this look better, but hopefully it will be watertight and it will keep out the rain and keep out the wind and help secure the long-term viability of this building. Now that's, a, that's the key thing. This all costs money. It's costing around 200,000 pounds the museum has £100,000 in reserves that it's chipping in, but we really, really need your help to raise that other £100,000. So anything you can give, we know how tight times are, how difficult times are, but any money that you can spare, and if you feel like we do about this building, please, please make a contribution. You can donate online, at yorkshireairmuseum.org where you can find out more information. If you're actually here at the museum, you can donate in person at our admissions hall and we'd be really, really grateful for anything you can give so that this incredible building that has witnessed so much will still be here for future generations.